The British Indian Association was established on 31 October 1851. Its formation was a major event of 19th century India. Its establishment meant Indians had come together and could no longer be ignored. It developed enormous hopes amongst the Indians about their future. The first committee of the association was composed of Raja Radhakanta Deb, President, Raja Kalikrishna Deb, Vice President, Debendranath Tagore, Secretary, Digambar Mitra, ASST Secretary, Members, Raja Steya Saran Gosal, Harakumar Tagore, Prasanna Kumar Tagore, Ramanath Tagore, J. Krishna Mukherjee, Asatosh Deb, Haramohan Sen, Ramgapal Ghosh, Umesh Chandra Dutta, Rambagan, Krishna Kishore Ghosh, Jagadananda Mukhopadhyay, Perry Chand Mitra, and Sambunath Pandit. Most of the early leaders of the British Indian Association were conservatives by tradition and temperament. Although there were some progressive like Ramgapal Ghosh and Perry Chand Mitra, it was formed by the amalgamation of the Landholders Society and the Bengal British India Society. <laughs> <laughs> Landholders Society The Zamindari Association, which was later renamed Landholders Society, was established in the 12th of November 1837 by Dwarkanath Tagore, Prasanna Kumar Tagore, Radhakanta Deb, Ramkamal Sen, and Bhabani Sharan Mitra. It has been described as the first organization of Bengal with distinct political object. The society virtually became defunct after the death of Dwarkanath Tagore. Topic. British India Society The British India Society was set up in 1839 in England primarily as a result of the efforts of William Adam, who had come to India and befriended Ram Mohan Roy. On his return to England he took up India's cause. Others involved were George Thompson, William Ednis, and Major General Briggs. They organised meetings and enlightened people about conditions in India. In 1841, it started publishing a newspaper named British Indian Advocate, edited by Professor William Adam in 1842. Dwarkanath Tagore went to England, accompanied by Chandramohan Chatterjee and Paramananda Maitra. It was the second visit abroad by educated Indians and the first since that of Ram Mohan Roy. Dwarkanath Tagore returned from England with George Thompson. His oratory charmed everybody and drew in young Bengal members such as Ramgapal Ghosh, Tarachand Chakrabarti and Perry Chand Mitra. As a result of the efforts of George Thompson the Bengal British India Society was founded on 20 April 1843. The object of the society was to secure the welfare, and advance the interests of all classes, but it would adopt and recommend such measures only as are consistent with pure loyalty to the person and government of the reigning sovereign of the British dominions. Its first executive committee consisted of four Europeans and eleven Indians with George Thompson as president, G. F. Remfrey and Ramgapal Ghosh as vice presidents, Perry Chand Mitra as secretary. The members on the committee were Tarachand Chakrabarti, Dakshinaranjan Mukherjee, Brojanath Dar, Krishna Mohan Banerjee, Hari Mohan, Gavind Chandra Sen, Chandra Sekhar Deb, Shyama Sharan Sen and Satkari Datta. There were people like Ramtanu Lahiri, also associated in some way. In 1849, John Eliot Drinkwater Bethune prepared drafts of certain legislative efforts aimed at bringing the British born subjects of the Crown under the jurisdiction of the British East India Company, but the Europeans named these bills the Black Acts and opposed them tooth and nail. This opposition led Indians to think that their fortunes were not linked to those of the Europeans and that they needed associations of Indians to take care of their interests. Moreover, some changes were anticipated with the possible termination of the company's charter. Ramgapal Ghosh and Digamber Mitra played a particularly significant role in the formation of the British Indian Society. <laughs> <laughs> Objectives and extent of British Indian Association During the early years the activities of the association consisted mainly of submissions of petitions to the government and to the British Parliament on grievances. There was an inherent trust in the good intentions of the rulers. The association sought to take up issues on behalf of all sections of society but occasionally it made conscious efforts to protect the right of the landed aristocracy. Despite its shortcomings, it was the only association of Indians which took up their causes and represented to the government. From the very beginning, the British Indian Association had an all India outlook. Associations were formed in different parts of the country and they maintained correspondence with each other. 
Its first annual report noted with satisfaction the formation at Pune, Madras and Bombay successively of associations of similar nature, though they elected to carry on operations independently. In Lucknow, Dakshinaranjan Mukherjee established the Awa British Indian Association in 1871 and campaigned for the formation of a provincial government with equal number of nominated and elected legislators. Criticism The British Indian Association has been roundly criticised by subsequent political stalwarts. Ambika Sharan Mazumdar, a Congress president, wrote, Constructive policy they had none and seldom, if ever, they laid down any programme of systematic action for the political advancement of the country. Bipin Chandra Pal complained that it had failed to cover the country with a network of branches. However, the British Indian Association played a catalytic role in building up political consciousness in India and more effective organisations followed. The Indian Association was formed in 1876, and the Indian National Congress in 1885. 